Hey everybody, it's Tara from teapotinthegarden.com where everybody can be their own little teapot in the garden of life. Be a little eccentric as I am. So we are reviewing these Seeds of Chains. I think it's called a garden in a pouch. Now it's a rainy day, so there's not a lot I can get done. The new greenhouse had to be ordered because a nice 10 inch snowstorm killed last year's greenhouse so we are doing some indoor fun seedling things however let's see if these things live up to the ten dollar hype and yes i said ten dollars because that's what these retail on amazon at tractor supply very high price now granted seeds of change is a usda organic approved product if you are trying to grow organic and non-GMO products, then you know you're going to pay a little bit more for seeds. Um, I don't know, however, <laughs> if this is going to be worth it. So what it is, inside you have these little pellets. And I mean, most gardeners know you, you get these little pellets. They expand with water. They're really simple to use. Now this is a bag full of of pellets and it came with these seeds um, these are the Genovese basil which is one of my favorite basils I am a huge basil lover it's got great antibacterial properties a little stick to I guess stir it and a plastic cover to place on it once we get this going so you're going to need two cups of water now I did um, some warm water. I went a little below two. If we need more, I'll add more. But sometimes they want you to oversaturate the soil and I'm not big on that. So, all right, are you ready? We're gonna pour this bad boy in and see what happens here. Cause you know these are gonna expand. Oh, watch them grow. You know, I should have found my tripod because trying to do this <laughs> and uh, hold my phone next time I'll get my GoPro I promise but for now let's see what happens that looks like a muddy yucky mess so I guess we're gonna try to stir in some of this hmm yeah okay so the soil's nice and damp and we might need a little bit more water after all i don't know how old these were they were like i said at tractor supply for ten dollars lord knows how long they've been on the shelf though that is a problem with buying stuff in store sometimes so we have a little bit more water just to see if we can get this last little bit moistened up i don't want to put too much because i don't want it overly wet and prohibit the seeds from kind of taking off and germinating completely either too wet of soil is a bad thing also okay well I'm going to say the stick is very thin i mean very thin and the soil is very heavy so I could see this snapping. I, I really would prefer a regular popsicle stick. So maybe that's a suggestion for seeds of change next time is a thicker stick <laughs> would work. Um, so, okay. Now, it did have instructions on this little thing or there's instructions on the back. Um, very simple, easy to do. I guess for new gardeners, this would be great. Uh, for people like me that have torn up three quarters of their backyard for a garden, it might be a little too easy, maybe. So I went ahead and opened this. I'm gonna say there's quite a bit, uh, amount of seeds in there. You're not going to need that many for this container. You're just not. You're going to overseed if you do. So honestly, I would say just probably try 
to get a few in there. And that's fine because you could take, I mean, look at that. There's like still a ton in there. You could plant those later. And that's probably what we should do is just plant those on another date because you're not going to want to plant too many. But let's spread them out just a little bit. I'm about an inch down in the soil. I don't want to go too far down because I want to be able to let the roots have a good place. And I'm going to lightly cover it back up. Now, you're going to take this plastic here and see if I can do this with one hand. Probably not. Uh, no, that's a little bit holding my phone a little harder than it should be. Okay, so, ah! Hold on. <laughs> okay, we got it back on. All right, so it's on. You're just gonna lightly put this on. It's gonna act as a greenhouse, kinda keep the air nice and warm. You wanna put this in a nice, warm, sunny spot. Not too sunny. You don't want it to dry out because you're not really gonna water this again. Your soil should be wet enough that you can leave it and go so put that on if you start seeing stuff come up you can remove it or lift it up a little bit more now in seven to ten days you should have something more like this we planted this about a week ago and as you can see our cilantro is um crazy heavy I should thin this out and I probably will I plan on repotting it actually and breaking it in half I do love cilantro it is great for guacamole and all kinds of things so this is what you should have basically in about a week to 10 days so we're gonna go from this to this you're going to want to repot it at some point because this is not going to be enough for the root system. Now, would I pay $10 again? No, no, I would not. I would not. You know what I'll do? I'll go to Kroger or my local grocer and buy this because that's what I did. If you go to your culinary, your produce department, you might find live herbs. Yeah, this was $1.99 and I just found a cheap little pot to sit in my window and repotted it until I can get it in a big pot out in the greenhouse. So for $1.99, I got a plant that was already growing. It's good. It's not organic. It's not non-GMO. But for right now, in the late March days when I just need fresh herbs, it's going to work because A, Whole Foods is way too far away from me. There's no fresh time on my side of town and no Trader Joe's. So I'm going to make this work until I can have my own plant. $1.99 compared to $10. Yeah, I'm going to go with the $1.99 because I want to be able to spend more money on other gardening things. So there you go. There is the teapot in the garden review on the Seeds of Chains garden in a pouch. I hope it helps you. I hope that makes your decisions. If you're standing in line at Tractor Supply and you see it at checkout and you're like, oh, I totally want this. Yeah, no, just go to Kroger, buy the plant, go to your local Lowe's or Home Depot, and remember, we still have quite a ways to go until garden season, but we're getting close, and I'm excited, and we will have more videos and more reviews and more things coming soon. So, have a great day.